Yeah, good morning, uh, Tamanna. I think uh, you know it could be a knee-jerk uh, reaction, but I think longer term, uh, I don't think that uh, these measures are going to you know impact the FNO volume quite significantly. I think uh, the appetite in the market is extremely strong, and I think uh, it could create a little bit of uh, nervousness in the short term. But uh, in the near, in the medium term, I think you know things could get neutralized, and I think uh, FNO trading is not about uh, you know restrictions. I think as long as uh, traders have the risk appetite and they can confidently make money, I think uh, FNO volumes are unlikely to get significantly impacted over the medium to long term. So I think maybe uh, in the very near term, you know, once these rules get into effect, uh, I think from October onwards. Uh, you could see a knee-jerk correction initially, but I think that is not going to spoil the mood. I think uh, you know the trading mentality and the trading sentiment continues to be quite robust. We have been talking to large traders, and I think uh, everybody is mentally prepared for this. So I think uh, it's not something which um, but traders are you know expecting as a big negative surprise uh, without any uh, intimation or uh, you know information. So I think it's going to be a gradual uh, process. I think as you rightly mentioned in the early part of the interview. That uh, the government will also not like that the FNO market is squashed in one single shot. So I think it would be a progressive way to ensure that uh, you know the process is followed properly by all the market parties. Yeah, I think uh, see volatility won't continue, but I think uh, you know there are pockets of opportunity, and I think we have been telling our clients that stock specific approach is the right approach. You know, when you look at pharma companies, so I think we have been bullish on larger names like uh, Biocon or typically something like. Sun Pharma. I think clearly companies which are well positioned in the U.S. market and which don't have any regulatory issues. I think uh, any dip in the market, you know, considering uh, you know the kind of scenario we are seeing, should be used as an opportunity to accumulate. I think the pharma story is not yet over, Tamanna. We could see better earning numbers uh, coming out, you know, post the Q2 numbers. And uh, once the Q2 result season starts, I think one all all of us would be focusing on the earnings numbers. So I think Biocon, Sun Pharma are stocks where we feel that any correction uh, could be used as a good entry point. Mm. So I think Neeraj, the valuations are not cheap, but I think the key moat in the business is obviously product innovation and R&D. And I think in that aspect, uh, you know, Zen is preparing the ground for the next two to three years. The defense uh, opportunity is a very large opportunity, and within the drone opportunity, you know, Zen is a very dominant player. It already has a very healthy order book. So my sense is, I think this is not a company for a short-term period. You know, somebody who's got a two-year kind of plus horizon can obviously look at buying this stock. Uh, you know, in SIP uh, and gradually accumulate it because once the order win is announced, I think you could see a runaway rise in the stock again. So I think clearly a very strong, uh, you know, company with a very strong management uh, kind of team. And R and D is going to be their plus point. So I think you know it's always uh, advisable to buy such stocks for a longer time frame. But you know on dips because at these valuations, as you rightly mentioned, uh, you know valuations definitely don't appear to be cheap. They are expensive. But I think the next two to three years could be a big opportunity for the company. Idea, Tamanna, that one can buy NTPC shares because usually uh, we have seen what happened in Bajaj Housing. Uh, you know, shareholder quota is a very important component. Uh, you know, for uh, you know applicants. So I think most uh, people in the market are buying uh, you know uh, shares of NTPC uh, in the hope that there will be a shareholder quota announced for NTPC Green, and it's one of those marquee uh, green energy companies which has got a very strong profit uh, track record, a very healthy order book. As far as uh, NTPC is concerned, I think once the stock gets listed, NTPC Green, it's going to definitely add a lot of value unlocking for the parent company. Uh, value unlocking would obviously mean uh, you know that the the stock would get listed and obviously that would benefit the parent. So to that extent, uh, you know the, the I mean the parent company would benefit. But I think for retail shareholders, it makes sense to buy NTPC at least in small quantities so that you know they get eligible in the shareholders quota, which typically can help their chances of getting allotment in the NTPC Green IPO, which is going to be another record offer.